comedian, David Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So we had my son's fucking jiu-jitsu tournament yesterday, the Winter Cup, and he did fucking good. I swear to God, this next generation of five, six, seven-year-olds, when they grow older, they're going to be absolute fucking animals. There's hundreds of fucking kids competing, and they're fucking good already. I'm watching them, and they've got all the skills. I'm like, if you keep on doing this for another 10 years, you're going to be doing shit that's not even fucking imaginable today. It wasn't even a fucking viable sport 10 years ago, and now it's fucking packed, and they charge $20 a fucking ticket to spectate. It's the biggest fucking rort I've ever seen in my fucking life. They're just printing money out there. Anyway, my son fucking competed in the Pee Wee seven-year-olds under 27 kilos. And he won two and lost one. And the one he lost was a nil old draw. It's just that the other kid got him in a little bit of a fucking triangle. But the first fight, the first match wasn't really competitive. My son just fucking destroyed him. 38 second armbar. Then the second fight, that was a little bit fucking different. The kid he fought was fucking like an absolute psychopath. I wouldn't have wanted to fight him. The kid just fucking comes in, double leg takedown, slams my son, gets on top of him. My son's fucking battling. This kid's fucking pummeling my son. But my kid's hanging in there. He's got fucking heart, the kid. He's almost in tears throughout the whole match. (laughs) Seriously, it's fucking brutal to watch. He's waiting before each match and you're looking over and it's like, fucking Jesus Christ, it's like he's seen a ghost. Anyway, fucking this kid, this second kid he fought, did a couple of illegal moves on my son. So the match was stopped. The ref had to fucking ask the big judge what's going on and then they gave my son uh four points so it was four all and then there was two minutes to go and they start fighting again and fucking this kid comes in again just fucking shoots gets the double leg takedown my son's on his back this kid's got my son in some sort of fucking headlock then out of nowhere Fucking, my son somehow fucking reverses it, takes his back, almost takes his back, but in the process of almost taking his back, he's fucking moved into mount and takes mount, scores fucking like six points. Now it's 10 4 my son's way, and he's in mount, but this kid's got him in like fucking a strangle from the bottom, but my fucking son's just gutting it out. And then this kid sweeps my son, so he gets on top again, and they're just fucking going for it. Time runs out. My son fucking wins somehow. He's pretty much in tears. (laughs) It's so brutal. He's in tears, and he's won. They raise his hand. He walks over, and he's like fucking shell-shocked. He can't even speak. But this is good. It's good for kids to get this sort of fucking, like, Reality check when they're fucking this young. A good fucking dose of competition. Get some fucking backbone into you. Then the third fight to go into the gold medal match. My son, he did well. I would have called it fucking a win for my son. Because my son was on top, dominating. Had his fucking arm in his throat, most of the thing. But the other kid did attempt a triangle. So they scored the submission attempt more than they score the fucking domination. But anyway, he did fucking good. And my wife was a lot happier with me this time. She was like, I was happy with your dad's performance as well. Because I was yelling shit out. I was like, stand up. And my wife, she's just an absolute fucking psychopath. She doesn't even know one thing about jujitsu. And you should hear her on the fucking video recordings of these fucking fights. It's insanity. She's like, turn him. (laughs) Turn him. Be heavy. I'll say something. I'll be like, stand up. And then six times in a row after I say it, you'll hear my wife go, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's fucked. And then I would go like, figure four, do the figure four. And my wife's like, figure four. She doesn't even know if he's doing it or not. She's just yelling. She's fucking out of control. But it was a good performance. I'm going to fucking do the next tournament for sure now. I can't let my fucking son get thrown to the lions and just fucking stand there looking like he's, like he's white. He's gone from brown to white before these fights. I can't let him fucking go through that without me fucking going through it a little bit as well. So fucking the boy owl is becoming a competition BJJ fucking martyr. Anyway, that's the BJJ wrap for this week. And now it's Ask Boyle time. So if you have a question that you would like answered by one of the greatest minds of the generation or any generation then head to my website that doesn't seem to be working at the moment. But head there because I'll be speaking to Kev. He can sort it out before this episode gets released. So head to my website. There's a section there for Ask Boyle. Put your details in, ask your question, and I'll get to it. Anyway, this week's Ask Boyle was sent in by Jen Aon from the US of A. And this is Jen's question. Is it a bigger injustice to be a bad person with good luck or a good person with bad luck? Well, Jen, you have come to the right place. I can really only look at this from one perspective because I'm actually the bad person with good luck. And I'm like, yeah, that's not really fair. It's not really fair to the good people out there. Why does that piece of shit Boyle always seem to land on his fucking feet? I don't know. I don't think it's fair. I don't think this is a question of injustice though. It's what kind of person do you want to be? Do you want to be the bad person with good luck or do you want to be the good person with bad luck? In the long run, you want to be the good person with bad luck. That's how you develop character. That's how you get tested. You just fucking, you're a good person and then God just starts throwing shit at you. Can you deal with this? How good are you? I'll keep going. I'm a good person. I'm definitely a good person. Can you fucking deal with this? And you just keep getting more shit thrown at you. That's what happens when you're a good person generally. You get tested more in life. If you're a piece of shit, no one tests you. They're just like, right, give him an easy run. We'll punish the fuck out of him in the afterlife. (laughs) We are going to crush him under a fucking mountain of molten lava in the afterlife. So just send that piece of shit some good luck. Whereas the good person, you fucking, you take some hits in this life, but you're going to be fucking sorted in the next one. If you can be a good person and continually tested with bad luck and not waver, boy, you get some credit in the afterlife. Trust me. But if you'd like me to answer the question directly, the question that you actually ask, is it a bigger injustice to be a bad person with good luck or a good person with bad luck? You would have to say it's a big injustice to give a bad person good luck. If the world worked how we thought, it worked, which it doesn't. Be good and good things will happen to you, that type of thing. If you're coming from that type of framework, then yeah, it's an injustice to give the bad person the good luck. But that's not how life or the world or karma works. Actually, I think it is how karma works, but karma works like that over many lifetimes, I hope. (laughs) Many, many, many lifetimes. And there's no such thing as like good or bad luck either. It's just a bunch of things that happen. Haven't you heard that fable about some fucking donkey or something? I'm not sure exactly how it goes, but fucking someone gave some kind of donkey and some cunts were like, wow, that's good luck. And then the cunt was like, hey, It's neither good luck or bad luck. And then the cunts were like, no, it's good luck. You got given a donkey. And he's like, no, it's neither good luck or bad luck. And then the next day, 
the fucking donkey kicked his only son in the head and his son died. And the same cunts came back and said, oh, that was bad luck, wasn't it? And the dude's like, it's neither good luck or bad luck. And the cunts were like, no, it's definitely bad luck. Your son's died. And he's like, it's neither good or bad. And then I forget what the next part was, but it was something that erased his son's death. (laughs) I can't really remember exactly what that would have been. It was something good though. But do you understand what I'm saying now? There's neither good luck or bad luck. It all just is. Anyway, thank you, Jenny, for sending in that question. I'm pretty sure I nailed it. So fucking keep the questions coming in. That'll do for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around and I'll see you the fuck later.